Hi everybody, this is Steve! And welcome to a fun little game called Moonlighter. So, this is a game that I backed on Kickstarter quite some time ago. I'm pretty excited uh, about getting to play it now. Uh, I got it about a, uh, access almost a week ago. I just haven't had time to play it yet as a recording for everybody. So, all I've done is install it, started it up to the menu here. Well, this menu. <laughs> um, just to make sure it works and that my recording software works with it as well. So, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Fun, it's it's a roguelike, that's all I'll tell you. So, fun little dungeon crawler. Um, but let's get into this. This is, as you see in the bottom corner, uh, and I might have to adjust my webcam as we're going here, but it is the pre-alpha. Only those who did the kickstart uh, we're a backer for it, have access to this version. So it's just the very beginning of the game, first area. Uh, a lot of the features aren't in the game yet, but I'm really excited to get into this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, I don't know why to continue. It's going to be a brand new game. <laughs> uh, yep. Alright, let's see here. Half a second. And yoink. Yes, right there. Alright. Ooh, sleep. Open. And I am, uh, uh, this is, uh, uh, only playable with a controller, so I'm using a, an Xbox controller to play this. I hit sleep. I thought I would move down to the chest. Well, there went day one for no reason. It's now nighttime. I just, I just goofed everything up. All right, we have nothing in there. All right, how about in this one? Nothing in there either. All right, so we run a shop. That's about all I'll tell you now. And so we have to, we have nothing. Um, all right, let's see here. Well, we can't open the shop. I'm so annoyed with myself. I'm using a broom. Uh, not that one. Um, so I can do... Okay, so X is a charge attack. Oh, that's cool. And A is a quick attack. I can do dodge roll. Okay, so I can have a secondary weapon, too. I just don't have anything equipped yet, so it won't let me change it. All right. Cave to the right. There's other shops, too, but they're all closed right now because it's nighttime. Because I goofed. All right, let's just run over here. Get straight into the dungeon. Actually, I want to explore more of the town. Let's get the, our knowledge of the town down. So, blacksmith shop right there. Hello, old man. Xenon. Or Zenon. Who knows? Um, this town has seen better days, especially when your grandpa opened his shop. The good times for merchants are gone, boy. I don't know if I'll do voices, but I just felt like it there. Okay, so we have... Oh, so this is another shop. Looks like a magic shop, maybe? Um, maybe alchemy. Those might be crafting ingredients. I don't know. We will find out. When I was young, I wanted to become a merchant, but it was really hard to obtain a merchant pendant. Most merchant pendants used today were found when the dungeons were discovered. Since then, finding new merchant pendants has become a can of worms. I don't know why I did that voice either, but hey, who knows? Um, staff. Oh, oh, you can hire people to work in your shop, it looks like. I don't have any money. So, oh, this is uh, the other shops. Do you feel dungeons are too hard, tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring enough money and elements. A forge to be reckoned with. Oh, so those other shops I'm seeing aren't even open yet. Because I have to hire these people to come in and uh, work those shops. And then here's shop upgrades. 
I think it's for my personal shop. Things in the shop. Not too expensive. I have a feeling it's uh, like a base price. And then uh, more expensive after you buy one. Kind of a thing. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I'm liking this. Can I... Uh, that was menu. Okay, so that's menu. Oh, so whichever way you're facing in the in the real world, your character faces in the in the uh, menu. That's awesome. Oh, uh, right. Um. Anyways, I was meaning to hit that. No, I can't break that barrel. All right. So uh, this is obviously the magic shop down here. Oh, you are you are in the game, and you're open. But I hadn't. I don't. I don't know. I don't have any money, so I can't buy these HP potions. One, two, three, a hyper potion. Oh, you also do enchanting. All I have is my spear, or broom spear. Oh, that's pretty cool. 2,000 for that upgrade. Oh, another person over here. Um... Oh, no, I got nothing for the voice on that one. I was going to try to do something, but eh, voices aren't my specialty. Oh, and I just realized I'm covering that up. All right. Items found in chests are known as culture items because they seem to have been used by other civilizations. Good to know. What do you have for me? People in Renoka are so used to dungeon items that they have become part of our lives. And food. Okay. Uh, can I go down here? This led to another dungeon. I have a feeling it'll be close. Yeah. I only have access to the beginning dungeon right now, and I've already noticed... Ooh. Oh, okay. I wonder if they all lead me to this, just like the same dungeon right now. Hey, what do you have to tell me? Tomo. Uh, people used to think items were blah, 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 blah. people used to think items were generated in the dungeons, but the recent decrease in the number of items found suggests they are limited resource. Ah. Hello, little boy. Yo. That sword seems like one of my toys. I'm not. I'm not using a sword. People say there are less and less items to be found in the Golem Dungeon. Well, there's a lot more people around and about than the first notice. Excuse me. There's an old saying, dungeons at night are harder, but gold shines brighter. Oh. So by making it nighttime, any of the dungeons I go into are going to be harder right now. Oh, what's this place? Ugh. This was my shop. <laughs> Oops. All right, let's get out of here. Ooh, I could break that one. All right, I already talked to that old man. Broke those. Oh, I found some money. Uh, so not every shop. Did I already talk to you? What a town, Renoka. Oops. I feel like I already talked to you. See, you can make a good merchant burger with. Ooh. Two times Tangle Vines. What? Slash N? I don't know. Okay. Uh, two times Spinning Mushroom, Beef, and Goat Cheese, and Slime Sauce. Bon appetit. I can't go in there. I've already talked to you. Uh, I think... Oops. I'm hitting the wrong button here. I'm wanting to do my dive roll. All right. I want to take a quick look quick gander probably not strong enough to take out those big barrels or the metal encased barrels or boxes whatever they are all right let's see if this is different no it looks i think all of them whichever path i take to leave outside the city takes me to the same dungeon Ooh, i got like sucked in there all right, so it's going to be harder because I goofed and it's nighttime. Oh, well. We'll have fun. Golem Dungeon 1. All right. 
little slime creatures. Eh, not that strong. Okay, so that slime on the floor slows me down. Gotta remember I can I can barrel. Guess that's not really a I have a feeling this can heal me. Oh, okay. Ah, I was right. Ow. Ow. Um, well that just about killed me. I was hoping to get something from that. Alright, I need... Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow! I am definitely weak. Something tells me I do not want to, uh... I might just wake back up. Ugh. Whoa, what just happened there? Uh, I probably just reset them by doing that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out this spring here, see if it heals me like I guessed. It does. Oh, I needed that. Let's go somewhere else. Ah, seriously? No, no. Give me that back. Alright, so just be continuously beating the crap out of them. Get some to return stuff to you. Awesome. I'm finding a lot of good components. Alright, so I can't... I can't dive roll through big objects, but I can't. Oh, I gotta sit still. Um, does it only heal me so much? Well, that is unfortunate. You punk. Ow. Heal me. Can't heal me anymore. I've like used up its healing capabilities. Alright, well that sucks. Alright, how am I doing? I got a rich jelly, teeth stone, iron bar, glass lenses. Okay. Ah, so it's known, uh, known crafting. Okay, so the right one I can jump by pages. The left stick I go up individual numbers. Alright. So basically, it's what I found as a merchant, what I found in an area. All right, cool. Um, what's over here? Oh, what day it is? January first. Hey, just a few days to my birthday. Um, I'm gonna leave. Whoa, hold on. What's this? It's like a shelf with oh, a bunch of shelves and stuff. How did I not notice that? All right. Anyways, let's try just leaving for now. Can I leave? Oh. Oh, I don't like that. I can't just leave whenever I want. Uh, oh, oh, I had a healing potion. I didn't realize it and I just used it. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Help me last longer. Okay. Come here, little goop creature. Ok, 
Good, good. Good. Haha, -ha. found an angle to hit him that he can't uh, hit me back. Oh. Oh, that's how I took damage and portaled back to the entrance that one time. I literally, uh, uh, dived off the side. That's not the button I wanted. Good to know that that's another button to dive roll, though. I'm trying to line it up to where I can hit him again. Aha! There we go. Cleared that room. Okay. Oh, snap. What is that? I don't like this. And I got knocked out. Death by misadventure. So I lost everything in my bag. And now I can go back to town. Let's see if I uh, kept what was on me. I'm curious about it. I hope so. Okay, so it's the next morning. And I did. I kept what was on me, and I just lost what overflowed into the bag. All right, well, let's go back to the towns. Now that it's, uh... Um, yeah, it's January 2nd now. Oh, my health just restored itself. Oh, and the forge guy's here. So it must be like an upgrade or something, that stuff, because they are here. Wow. Okay, <laughs> never mind, it glitched. Because it was just straight nines for that for a second there. Okay, so I have to provide my own ingredients. To craft stuff. And I don't have enough for anything there yet. I have a feeling it's going to be also a lot going in, uh, into there and getting defeated, but just getting some basic resources. When I was young, I wanted to become a merchant, but it was really hard. Oh, yep, I've already talked to you before. All right. Nothing changed for them. I'm going to... I could sell some of what I have. Okay, so take the whole stack. No. I want five. Oops. Two, just so I can start getting some money. One. One. Oh, and how much I want for him. Uh, we'll start with 10. I have, I have no clue. All right. Hold on, hold on. Cause, uh, I have an idea for how to get a, a, a comparison for that. Okay. So 4,000 to make that. And I need five of the cloth, six of that, and six of something I haven't even found yet. So, that's about the same, but it requires even more. Same cost. Helmet, chest plate. Oh, it's because it's a bigger, it's a, just a bigger item in general. That is why it requires more parts. Makes sense. Um... I'm thinking more than 10. Have I talked to you? Yes. All right, let me check out some of these other shops. <laughs> You're open now. See, and you sell the very items. See, like rich jelly, you sell them for 12. So 10 is good for the rich jelly. I already own that. Uh, 250. See, for for the glass lens, I was about to way undersell. So, like, 200 for that, 50 for that. Um, not even worth selling the root. So, 10. Okay, so, yeah. Teeth stone, 10 was good. Um, 
The slime, 10 was good. 200 on the lens. And 50 on the iron bar. All right, all right, see if I can remember that. Head back to my house. All right, so what we wanted. Oh, so, the, oh, I get it now. This this stuff here on the right-hand side, we're looking for, uh, it'll give me kind of reactions to prices. So it'll kind of tell me what's going to be a good price as I sell stuff. So let's get back over here. Um, 10 on that. Then it was 10 on that one. And then this one was the 50 that I wanted to sell that for. And that one was the 200 I wanted to sell that for. All right. Now we will open our shop. Nope. Too much, I guess. Oh, you're willing to buy it for that. Sweet. Uh, yes. Wait, was that for the stack that I just sold it for that? Um, five, sure. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this, though. Ah, uh, they're, they're all saying I'm charging too much. Okay. All right. Okay. So let's adjust this then. Let's... Oh, can I not adjust prices while the shop is open? I guess not. I thought I had more... Oh, well. I'm sure that'll be a common item I find a lot of. Um... All right, we'll give this a little bit longer. If nobody wants to buy those, I will close the shop. Close the shop here in a moment. Go back and I buy me a heal potion. Yeah, they're all going blah blah blah. All right, we're just gonna close the shop. Let these couple people look. It's getting to be nighttime too. It looks like it's getting darker out there. All right, we'll close the shop. Kick all those people out. I will adjust their prices. Oh, interesting. Now it shows back up in there. That one, I'm going to make 150. And that will just make it 5 for a future date. Now, the rest of this stuff, I am going to put away in an inventory. We're going to sleep because I want to go in the daytime. Let's see. Back, back, move, quick move all, left, bump off. There we go. We're gonna sleep so it is daytime when the dungeon is supposed to be easier. Saving, I think that's also the save mechanic. All right, so it should now be, let's see what time is it. Yep, yeah, we're gonna go back in the dungeon. We got time, we got time. We got plenty of that there, time. Quick, quickest route to the dungeon, I have a feeling. Okay, close, close, close. Okay, so there's four and then a big boss area. And I probably have to clear out all of the Oh, I meant to buy a potion before going in. I had enough for a basic potion. That's okay. That's okay. We'll be fine. All right, so no, I do not still have the map. Nope, wrong button. So the map resets. That's interesting. All right, come to me. Ah, uh, what? I got like knocked off the edge somehow, even though I was clearly in the middle of the path. There we go. Got some more of those teeth, whatever they're called.
These guys, I find that to be the easiest way so far to just take care of them. Whoa, hey. I don't know how I feel about that. Kind of want them all to just come to me. Oops. Alright, come on. Ouch. They got me. Okay, so those roots are pointless for selling. But I have a feeling they'll be good for other stuff later on. Oh, and I'm getting some new items here. Alright, there we go. Get this angle here to where you can't hit me. And I got more lens. And more, um... Um... Uh, iron bar. That's what that other one was. Alright, bring it on. Alright, I gotta be a bit more clever about this. Treat it more like the... Ugh, give me back my stuff. Oh, and you don't drop as much when you pick it up. Arr, I just lost out on some good stuff. I gotta remember to beat those guys to the loot. How we doing? Dead end, or sort of dead end this way. Ooh, what is this place? This, uh, this dungeons are unlike anything I've seen before. Excuse me. Everything seems to be dual in it. It looks organized but chaotic at the same time. Items are placed in chests, but they look ancient, used by unknown people. Rooms are all the same, arranged in a maze pattern. What's the meaning of this? Interesting. Is it any different? No. Okay. So yeah, this way ended up being a dead end. But I just found some story aspect. The uh, grammar could be improved on it a little bit. Heal me. Let me drink of the waters. I'm uh, getting some pretty good loot. Quick equipped. I wish. That. No, 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 no. <laughs> alright, alright. Um. So people, yeah, I did. I sold that stack for that amount. So two was definitely too low. Or ten or whatever for that stack that I sold was too low. Twenty-five was is a pretty good price for that. Awesome. Lens, it didn't sell. Two hundred was way too high. I might need to end up selling that for like a hundred. All right, that's that's stuff for when I get out of here though, and I'm wanting to sell what I have. All right, gotta be quick. What the? Oh, I was stuck on a rock. I'm like, why am I not moving? There we go. Okay, back to the entrance. Seriously, I'm curious how I get out of here without being completely knocked out. And it probably involves killing a boss or finding an exit. Alright, kill those. Oops, I stepped too far forward. So really, I want right now, as I'm trying to get stronger... Ow! Ah, crap. Don't. There we go. Beat that. Just one of them left. Okay. Don't take this enemy for granted. Ooh. I'm like one hit away from getting sent out of here and losing a day. This is fun. I'm really enjoying this, though. Uh, and there's so much... I mean, this dungeon crawler aspect and all that, that is a lot of fun, too. But then you have the merchant aspect when you get back to town, where you have to... Uh, um, you know, uh, 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 strategize your marketing, not marketing, but you know. Oh, I found you. Heal me. Oh, oh see, it got dimmer. I see. So the brightness 
of the glow tells you how much healing it has left. And I used practically all of it up. Mm, yeah, we'll keep going this way. Oh, one of these guys. Haven't beat one of those guys yet. Boom! Alright, give me plenty of room to move around. Hey, dude. Uh, I don't like that. Alright, I beat that. I have a feeling that's like the boss of the dungeon. And it just shows up. Oh, I didn't notice the little slime. Ah, uh, it's chasing me down. It's just, And I couldn't even hurt it before. No, 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 no. Alright. No, no, no. Ah. Oh. That's okay. And let's go back to town. Got some good stuff. So there's got to be a way to beat that thing, but it like KOs me in one hit. All right. Um, I don't want to open my shop during the night time. Well, I'm gonna get my uh, shop all set back up. Uh, drop, off, decide on selling some more stuff. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got one there, four or five of the slime. Not planning on any roots. Actually, let's sell a um, whole stack. Four, ten. Uh, let's make it twelve. Yeah. I'm gonna... I actually want to add a second one of those and make it 160. Yeah. Oops. Wasn't done yet. I want to set a stack of four. And that's too low. We're going to make that 12. Now, it might be too late in the day. Oh, let's see. A, a vine. That's what that is. Um, Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah. I can't. I can't open the shop at night time. So let's go ahead and do, yeah, we'll do another day of shopping, or of the selling. Sleep, make a day, we'll sell that stuff, see what happens. Because it almost needs to be that you do need to run the dungeon at night and sell during the day. And try to avoid sleeping, because that's just a waste of time. Alright, hold to open shop. Alright guys, come on, check out my wares. Tell me what you think. Give me some feedback. Please and please. Oh, you're pretty happy about the cost on that and that. Okay. Oh, I'm, I wasn't paying attention to you. Sure. Oh, everybody was... I, I sold everything. I'll take it. Awesome. All right, we'll have to close the shop. Well, I guess I can place more stuff. We'll place two of the vines and make it... 10. That's probably way too low, but whatever. 25 on that. You know, we'll sell the whole stack. So we want it at 75. I already found the perfect number on that. So, hey, why not? Um. Okay, we'll call that good. Just see if those sell and then close up the shop. too expensive. The vine stuff, I, I had a feeling that was going to be something that's a cheap item, considering what it came from. It came from slimes. Alright, you guys don't want to... Oh, I only placed two, and I wait. My bad, everybody. My bad. Um, I meant to drop that to eight. We'll make it six. Alright, how about now? Good. So that... <laughs> People were more happy on that. That was my bad. Still too much on the vine. I'm not surprised in all honesty. Alright, so let's add one into it. And see if that changes their thoughts on it. Yes, awesome. Alright, so as soon as I sell it to this guy, I'm going to close the shop. Alright, sorry guys, I'm out of stuff. Well, I'm not. But that's all I'm selling for now. 
Night time! Alright, and there was that one. Nope, I meant this way. There we go. Uh, rotate those around. Actually, I'm gonna make it a vertical stack. And whatever. Okay. Well, I'm gonna call this part good. This was the first episode for checking Moonlighter out. I hope you guys liked the concept of it, enjoyed this video. Please give me some feedback. You know all the usual stuff. The like, subscribe, the leave the feedback down below. Um, I plan on doing a bunch more of this. This game is awesome. I'm so excited. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun at just this pre-release, this early access, uh, uh, early beta game. I cannot wait for the full game. I plan on still playing more of this early access. Uh, hopefully I get a little bit better at the dungeon. Uh, at least, the, you know, a little better. So I'm getting some better stuff and getting farther. And I can start getting some gear. Um, thanks everybody for joining me though. I already said everything else. So in the meantime, I will see you later.